Welcome back, Minecrafters. It's Effect Unknown. Uh, today we are going to be starting a, a big wheat farm. Um, that way we can get a, a bunch of wheat. And so when we get our, our cows going and our cow crusher over there, uh, we'll have plenty of wheat to uh, breed them all up. So uh, I'm thinking I'm making like mostly this. We'll see how far we bring it out. And just pull uh We'll kind of go from there as to uh how far we come out and how big of a, a little wheat field we make so um don't really have a full like thought out plan in my head of how this is gonna look but um i think what i want to start out with is we got some slabs so i we're gonna make some some stone fences here, or some cobblestone walls. Let's make, let's make up a handful of those. So we'll start with that. And I'm thinking what I want to do is just kind of run these down along. And every so often we'll leave a spot open and we'll put a, a little slab here so we can kind of come up and out. Let's run this all the way down. We'll put a corner here. And looks like we're out of the fence already, or the, the wall. So let's make up a whole bunch more and let's go with uh, 20. Let's go with 20. 20 should be a good start. And then this way it'll keep kind of too much stuff from just randomly walking into our wheat field here uh, we'll put another slab here and we'll finish off this wall and we'll just kind of end it right there that way we got a few little spots to come in and out um we'll leave this the way it is for now just so we don't know how far we're going to come out and then I'm gonna leave a just kind of a one one block on the outside here, um, just so when we do come down, we're not in the field already. Um, so we'll go with right there one, two, three, four, and then we'll plop our bucket of water. So we'll drop one of those in right away. And then we can go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And we're going all four just because that's that's as far as these little blocks can can hydrate some land. Two, three, four. So we got that. That looks I think we'll start off with that. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Oh, I lost count here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I mean, I guess we could put a bucket here. Um, and then that way it'll kind of match up with what's down this way. And there you go. Cause then we'll put our bucket here. Two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. Well, I guess what? What's going on here? Mm, that's interesting. Will you fill back in? You sure will. Okay. I'll fill the rest of that in. One, two, three, four. That'll wrap all the way there. One, two, three, four. There we go. So that should be a pretty big field. So we should be able to just go ahead and use our hoe and till all this up and Let's see 
see just how big we get here. Let's bring it right along to the shore. And our stone hole is already used up already. No surprise. Doesn't have much for durability. So after we get this up and going, we will plant our wheat seeds. And we'll kind of let this farm just kind of grow. We'll let the wheat grow. And we shall have plenty of wheat. I do know we do have our bees growing there with the wheat, but just something about let's see, do we have we don't have any sticks. Um make another stone home. Something about being in there with the bees just I don't know. Makes me nervous. Um I mean, you, you could go in there to collect your crops, and next thing you know, you uh, accidentally punch a bee, and then you're running out of there, because when you punch a bee, they are no longer your friends, and they they want to hurt you, which is not very nice of them, but I understand that if somebody would to punch me, I wouldn't be a happy person either. So, let's go ahead... Plant all our wheat here. We should have plenty of seeds to cover all this. We missed a few spots. We sure did. And there goes one stack of seeds already. We'll work on the next row. Oop. Falling in the water. Looks like it's starting to get dark out. Good time to run back home. I've done some off-camera exploring where uh, I'm still looking to find some, like a bamboo jungle or something like that. So let's take a little nap. All right, we got our little barn area kind of staked out here. Uh, we got, I believe, all the materials that we are going to need, so uh, we're going to be sticking with the dark oak and the cobblestone just to kind of keep it in in uh, the same kind of theme as the rest of the buildings here. Um, this time we're going to do a little bit different, though. We're going to have uh, just a little bit of some cobble, but it's going to be kind of more of an accent on the top as opposed to uh, the main of the bottom, so... Let's first start it off with getting rid of these and put them down as our markers for where we are going to have kind of the, the outside supports for our little farm here. Um, we'll see if we want to stick with this dark oak or... Um, what we might do is we might strip it just so it kind of looks a little different because we're going to be using uh, dark oak wood slabs for kind of the main part of the top. So uh, let's bring these up. We'll go up four. Hopefully this still hurts. Let's do it this way. And then that way, hopefully, we don't have to worry about hurting ourselves again too much like we were doing on the little greenhouse back there. Plop our dirt and bring it up to four. Plop our dirt, bring it up four. Bring these up right away. Let's 
There we go. Get rid of our dirt. Break our shovel. Still wishing I had some bamboo to make some scaffolding. Um, let's go ahead and we are going to put our fence posts in. We're going to do one. Oh, I didn't want these all the way up. What was I thinking? These are only supposed to be one off the ground. And it looks like it's getting to be nighttime already. Day goes by so fast. Alright, so we're going to put a fence gate here, a fence gate here. Put some in the middle there as well. And so what we're going to end up doing is we are going to have one side just to hold our cows. And then the other side is going to be the cow crusher where... Um, basically we just get a whole bunch of cows in a little one block area and eventually we get so many that they just kind of start killing themselves off. And that's how we are going to get our leather and our, well, not really cooked steaks, but we'll get our raw beef from there and get on up. So this front area is just going to be a little bit. of a we don't want fences there either um a little bit of a pasture area we're not really going to be running around out here but um we'll we'll pretend we're being nice to the cows and we are not gonna have enough fence posts go ahead and make some more fence here real quick uh, that's not going to be enough either. So we'll turn that all into logs and we'll see. Maybe that should be enough. There we go. We're going to bring these up one. Run some more across the top here. There we go. And we'll do the same thing on the back. Finish off this side. And looks like we need still some more fence. Um, I don't think 12 is going to be enough. I don't think so. It is for now, but I still want to do one more up because we are going to have the roof kind of start on top of that block. So uh, we'll have to make some more here in a little bit. And of course, we are going to also want to separate that because we don't need more cows splitting the two the two sides. There we go. That should be plenty. Keep them separate. Keep the cows that are actually free and wandering around from the ones stuck in the hole. Because, yeah. So, let's see. Got our marker here. I want to do... Put our chest down here. Hopper pointing into the chest. Can we do it? Nope. Did that work? Let's see if that worked. That worked? It worked. So that's where all the pieces of leather and things like that are going to be. We're going to cover that up. We'll leave that kind of sit there and do we want to do 
Actually, I don't think I want the dark oak. But that's going to be just too much of kind of the same material here. So let's do one stair. And yeah, just one stair. We'll stick that there. And we're going to replace these with cobblestone. And we'll bring it up. And we'll put our bucket of water down in there. That'll keep the cows jumping up and down so we can um, easily feed them so they can keep making uh, baby cows and keep giving us leather and all that good stuff like that. So, we have a lot of cows in here. A lot of cows. Um, let's get uh, some wheat. Let's see, what do we got here? A whole bunch of wheat. See if we can get one or two cows out of this pen without all of them getting out. Come on, just one. One to two. Back on up. Oh. All right. You are our lucky first winner. We're gonna, you just climb over. You're our winner. Come on. Come on. You know you wanna go in that hole. Come on. Yeah, there we go. All right. We got one in. One more to go. Who's the next lucky contestant to come on down? Anybody? Anybody? Too many of you want to come? Too many of you? Too many of you want to come on out? Come on this way. And somebody come out. Somebody come out. Come on out. Everybody come this way. And, oh, we got our lucky contestants. Yeah, come on. Come on over here. Nobody wants to say hi. Come on. Climb on in. You know you want to. Climb on. Come on. No. Come on. Come on. Almost. Almost. Get. Get in there. Get in there. Come on. Get in there. Oh, why do you do this? Why? Come on. Come on. Come this way. Come this way. Nope. 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 You are not allowed out of there. Just, just go in your home. Go in your home with your friend. Why do you have to make this so difficult? Come on. Come on. Just a little more. Oh. Come on in there. Oh, you walked right over. All right. And then. Oh. What is with this cow? He just does not want to go in there. You. You're in there. You're in there. Come on. Come. Oh. All right. Look at that other one's jumping around. Well, I didn't want a bucket of milk. I wanted the water out of here. No.
There. Now the other guy shouldn't be jumping around. So you can go in. There we go. We'll put. Nope. No. 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 It's not working out as planned. Come on. Oh. There. Now we can throw a fence on top so they can't get out. And feed them up. There we go. Wow, that was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. We'll fill our bucket up with water again. See, I think now it's about time to start putting the roof on. Mm, so we are going to let's do this. Let's see how this looks. Strip that, and then I'll add. I'll make it yet. Just a little different. Finish up these back poles real quick. And just about nighttime, so we are gonna go sleep again. As I was getting all the slabs and the initial, like, fence gates and things like that made up all of a sudden I got punched in the back of the head from a, a lovely old uh, zombie that decided that well it was dark and uh, he was gonna he was gonna come say hi I was not a big fan of it I uh, didn't even realize that it was happening so we are gonna do Labs all the way across. And then we are going to go up by one. And that is not what I wanted. I don't even have an axe. Guess my axe decided it was going to break. Let's. This is not going to be easy. All right, let me go ahead. Let me go make an axe. Start working on this roof to see. The way it's going to kind of work to get the slabs angling up. So I will be right back. All right, so we used a few little dirt blocks and we got the uh, kind of the start of the outline for the roof. Um, so right now what we'll do is we'll just pull ourselves back up and we are going to throw some cobblestone slabs just to kind of give it a little bit of an overhang kind of let it stick out just a little bit and then we'll just go ahead and fill the rest of the roof in we'll see if we have whoa not what I wanted see if we have enough slabs to make our way through and we'll do a little overhang there and then we take the next level and bring it on out so let's go ahead and we'll just 
finish off the roof here. Can't be too hard to do. Unless we run out of slabs. Do we have? Oh, we have plenty of slabs. Unlike fences, apparently I was a little more prepared with those. And after this, we'll go ahead and we'll add one more little kind of fence for uh, kind of a support to hold the roof up. And bring over the rest of our cows into the other side. And add a little couple of decorations. We got a few hay bales to put in there. Um, we'll go and make another cauldron for a little kind of place for the cows to get some water, even though, you know, they don't really need it, but. So there we go. Looks like we got the roof done. Let's go back down here. We'll add the rest of our supports. There we go, something to help hold the roof up. I'll put the ones in the back. Alright. Last side. One there. One there. And then of course the middle. Just to make things look a little better. So on this side, we're going to throw all of our cows, uh, the, the rest of them, we'll put them in there and we'll just kind of uh, let them be, Let's see if we can put nothing in there. So we'll put one there, I guess we'll hang them on the outside, since they don't want to hang in the middle, and then we'll put... Uh, it doesn't want to hang there. I think that's good. I don't think we need any more there. Let's go ahead. We'll take our hay bales. And I also wanted to make... Um, also wanted to make a barrel. Let's see. Where's our barrel? Never remember how to make one. I think I need some more, more of those. There we go. One of the newer recipes that I just haven't quite remembered yet. So, actually, I'm gonna go sleep again before we get too many uh, hostiles come and interrupt our building. Cause that's never fun. All right, let's head back out. So the barrels where I'm gonna store a whole bunch of the wheat for breeding up the cows over on this side. Um, where do we want to kind of hide it? It's kind of thinking. Maybe we'll do this. I'll put the barrel there. Put the little hay bale. Nah. Hay bale up on top. And then we can just hide the weed in there when we want to. When we come on out. Just breed up a few more cows. Put it back. And be good. So if I can get... Guess we really don't need that hole right there. Give us a little more space to walk around. We'll block that off. We'll add a few hay bales around here as well. Nothing that's... Oh, what do we want to do? We'll do that. Don't actually want the cows walking in between. I think that'll be good. 
we'll put ah we'll just leave it as is all right well let's go ahead let's make up a cauldron real quick uh did find one before give it to our horse so we need to make another one where do we have the cauldrons? That way it'll make it look a little bit more like a barn where cows should be. We'll block off that. We will throw our cauldron right there. We'll fill it up with water. And now it's going to be time to move the rest of the cows. Let's, oh, and I threw all my wheat in here. We'll block off those fences. We'll see how many we can get in there. We might not actually get all of them in because there are quite a few cows here. All right, follow me, everybody. Hey, follow me. like a whole herd of them come on one at a time now one at a time come on in it's like a whole train of cows come on in where are the rest of you come on come on in oh hey hey everybody get back here come on come on All right, if that's the way you're going to be, then... Yeah. You open up the fence gate and they just run on out. Alright, you come in here too. Come on. There we go. Got ourselves a nice little barn. We can go ahead and take this down. We don't need it anymore. Do, do, do. Well, there we go. So what we'll do is every now and then we'll come on over. We will breed the cows that are in the cow crusher. And eventually you decided you had to come out too, didn't you? No, nope. you were the free guy running around. Um. So yeah, every now and then we'll come on out. I don't want to place a torch there. We'll grab our wheat. We'll feed those guys up. And eventually... We'll get beef and we'll get leather. Just starting to pile up there. Oh, oh gotta get up. There we go. That's our, uh, that's our little barn. The, the stripped logs kind of add a, a little bit of a different kind of color to it that way everything is not just the dark oak and I think what I want to actually do real quick is bring this over to add a little bit of the overhang sticking out yeah, that'll look better. That looks a little better. Bring the side out as well. And we are short one. One block. Yeah. And plop that there. 
that there and that there and there we go we'll just put some torches on the back side no one's really gonna see them but it'll provide a little bit of some light and there is our barn I think it's looking pretty good. We got uh, a few cows over here that we can use for if we need some milk or if we want to go in and kind of breed them up as well and trim them down. And got our cows over here in the cow crusher. So, yeah, I think it, uh, it turned out pretty good. Then we got our giant wheat field over there. And that'll be able to give us all the wheat we should need for breeding our cows and creating some bread until we can start eating steak and living on that. So if you enjoyed the episode, you enjoyed kind of watching the build and seeing the our little village town kind of grow and expand just a little bit more, give the video a thumbs up. Let me know you liked it. Hit that subscribe button. Um, that way you know when the new videos come out. Um, in the future, I think we need... Um, we still need a chicken coop. We gotta do something with our chickens that are... Get... For some reason... Dying. Um, interesting. Uh, yeah. But they're giving us eggs. And... So we gotta put a we gotta make a little chicken house, a chicken coop for them, give them a place to live as well. And then uh I'm not sure what else we'll have to see what else we can put on our list of things to do. Um Maybe pretty soon uh we'll we'll venture off to the nether and kinda see what uh what we can find out there. So until next time. This is Effect Unknown, and thanks for watching.